Also fascinating, <laughs> our forecast, because it's changing awful quick. Jay and Matt have an update for us on that. Yeah, I mean, that's really been the buzzword the last like, right. week and then even into the future. It's just going to be very, it's going to be change from hour to hour, day to day, like crazy. Yeah. Um, for your weather word today, and I want to go on record right now. This, I did not come up with today's. Oh, that's, I, yeah, I always that scares do. me. That scares me half the uh, right. Monica thought, you know, that oh, no. she would come up with it based off that last story. Okay. So uh, if if you don't like it, give all complaints to Monica Robbins. But the weather word is tripping. Tripping. Yes. Oh, Tri man. Tripping. In a weather forecast. Did you notice our weather graphic here? I, I did. That's pretty good. <laughs> Rob, you see that? <laughs> Very good creative minds back there. All right, we'll get tripping into the weather forecast. Uh, right now, clouds thickening up. There's no rain yet in the greater Cleveland area. It's been kind of a cool, raw day. We had the rain this morning. We've kind of cleared out in terms of the rainfall, but that rain is coming back into our forecast here. As we're dealing with System 2, remember we've been talking about System 1, System 2 this week. This is really the last one we have to deal with, and this one will come with a big temperature drop on the back side of it. So where are we now? Just some clouds hanging out. There's some rain that will be moving in throughout your evening. This will move in pretty quickly into Erie and Huron counties over the next half hour, eventually into the Cleveland area, probably another hour, hour and a half or so. This is the system as a whole. There's a snowstorm on the northern end. We won't get much of that. There's a severe weather component in the southern half of this, as we've had over the last few storm systems, and some flooding ongoing across areas of Kentucky right now. You notice Ohio's quiet, not much going on. That severe weather threat that we told you last two days we weren't that impressed with. Well, look at that. It's now down towards the south. We still have the possibility, though, of some strong winds with some of these. I'll show you why. So the low pressure is still well off towards our west. Here's the attached cold front to that. The rain that's going to move in here this evening is with the warm front, all right? It's going to ride right along where the warm front is, is right now. We've got temperatures that are much warmer down to the south. The only thing tonight that we're concerned with is the fact that there's a 100 to 120 mile per hour jet stream up above us, you know, up where the clouds are. Some of these more elevated, more developed thunderstorms or showers that we get can grow up into that and you get the updrafts and downdrafts that are typical in clouds that could bring some of that strong wind energy down. So damaging winds are still a slim possibility late this evening. But again, not going to be a widespread event. We weren't expecting that either. Look at the temperatures, though. Here's the line right now where that warm front is. We're 39 downtown, 59 in Akron. You know what I'm talking about. Down in Summit County, the Canton area, Worcester, it feels like spring once again down here. This air, as that low moves in, will come north a little bit. So downtown, does this line get up? Do we get in the 50s there for you out in the Chardon area as well? Back towards Lorraine and Lurie area may have temperatures go up here this evening. So this is what we're expecting with your National Design Mart hour by our forecast still cool along the north warm down to the south you're going to hold your temperatures down in the Akron area we'll get that wave of rain through here and then we wait we wait for the cold front so we'll have a couple hours of quiet here going from 8 9 maybe into the 10 o'clock hour where our model warms us all up to the lakeshore and the upper 50s here comes our cold front from the west this is what we'll have to watch I know it doesn't look like much on radar but again some of these showers along the actual cold front could be on the gusty side that's what we'll watch for later this evening Temperatures coming down. Look, we go from 58 to 39, and then the cold air really starts to move in here. 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. By tomorrow morning, totally different air mass outside. We'll have a little bit of uh, lake effect snow around. Temperatures in the 20s. If you went to bed and it was 58 degrees, you wake up, you might think you'll be tripping a little bit because temperatures are going to be notably, <laughs> nice sound effect, notably colder tomorrow morning with some lake effect snow. Not expecting anything in terms of big accumulations or anything like that. What are you going to notice? The wind chill. Look at this, 10 o'clock, 50 degrees. By tomorrow, we spend the day with wind chills in the teens. February's back. It's not going to last long, though. Union Home Mortgage seven-day forecast. So we go from the 20s on Friday with lingering snow. That snow should wind down pretty quickly in the afternoon. Look at the bounce back this weekend, though. 40s and 50s with some sunshine. And next week, several chances of rain and temperatures bumping up again.